An East Vancouver woman is speaking out to warn others after getting hit with a $230 traffic ticket for having her license plate obscured. As CTV's Ben Milger reports, it never occurred to her that installing a small bike rack could lead to such a hefty fine. Yeah, she had some pretty... New mom Ashley Dunn was apprehensively looking forward to her first night out in the four months since her son was born. It didn't go as planned, but not because of little Marcello. While driving on Great Northern Way, a motorcycle cop pulled her over, saying her new bike rack obscured her license plate, and then he handed her a $230 ticket. So I said, oh, can't, can't I please have a warning? And he said, nope. And he walked back to his bike and, uh, and drove away. The Motor Vehicle Act is clear, saying a plate must be entirely unobstructed, so that the numbers and letters on it may be plainly seen and read at all times. Dunn wonders why the officer couldn't have used some discretion, especially since she immediately put the bike rack in her trunk before driving away. Vancouver police say their officers do have discretion, but people shouldn't rely on that to get out of a ticket. They encourage anyone who feels they were treated unfairly to take the matter to traffic court. For most offenses where there isn't a mandatory minimum fine amount, the justice of the peace presiding over the hearing does have the discretion to lower the fine amounts, sometimes quite significantly. A quick scan of the shelves at a nearby big box store shows a number of different bike racks. Almost all of the back loading models display pictures showing the rack blocking the license plate. And on the streets of Vancouver, one doesn't have to look far to see many, many other offending vehicles. With the big budget increases every year for the police, they say it's about community safety, but I don't see any safety in this and I don't see any community in it either. Dunn paid the fine, but wants others to know about it so they don't get the shock she did. Ben Milger, CTV News, Vancouver.